Hey guys. <coughs> Excuse me. So, the next thing I wanted to talk about was my IVIG treatments. They called me last week and said that uh, I had been 100% approved for them to come to my house and do them. Uh, it's over a two-hour drive for me to go to Birmingham. And initially, what I had agreed to when we went to the doctor two weeks ago was to give myself uh, shots every week. But after he talked to my immunologist, he, told, he said that it wasn't enough and it wouldn't benefit me. So they went ahead and ran it through my insurance, and my insurance has approved for um, the cancer center here locally that goes around and does infusions to come to my house and do the IVIG treatments. Well, I was completely blown away. I mean, I left work early and come home and I was just in a terrible mess because it happened so fast. Everything got approved so fast and it happened so fast. And Ray and I had been praying about it and praying about it and I really didn't, I think that I let it all get to me instead of realizing that it was the answer to our prayer. I've been in like a three month flare now, feeling like I got the flu and just barely getting by. Oh, uh, anyway, so I came home that day. I took off work a whole hour early, wow. And I was a nervous wreck, you know. But then I talked to some of my great friends on here who are having it and who are trying so hard to get it that I realized, you know, the IVIG does not kill your good immune system, your antibodies. All it does is put in what you're, you don't have and keeps you from getting sick. I have so many friends on here that are ending up in the hospital with pneumonia for a month at a time and on high steroids and antibiotics and, you know, I don't want to end up like that. And that's what they're trying to prevent. They're trying to prevent me from from getting a cold and ending up with pneumonia, you know. And uh, so now, uh, you know, I really have this big peace about it. It's okay. Um, uh, they probably will be calling me in the next few days because it, it all came together so fast. Like I said, my insurance is paying for all of it, except my deductible. They will come to my house, and um, I have a best friend here who I called when I got off work that day because I was just so upset. And of course, she said she would come that day and sit with me the whole day long, so I won't be by myself. And uh, I have a lot of questions for them. And I'm going to start writing them down because before they just come out and do it, you know, I've got all these questions. And they told me on the phone, you know, these people know what they're doing. They do it all the time. And they have their emergency kit. They have everything in case you have an allergic reaction to the blood plasma. You know, it's not like they don't do this every day. But my friend's going to come and sit with me every time. I mean, look how blessed I am. I don't have to get out. And me and my husband go once a month, drive two, two and a half hours, sit all day, drive back. You know, that's a big blessing right there, to just be in your own house. Um, the worst side effects, most of you have told me, is a huge headache. I will make sure I get with my doctor to have some medicine. Uh, not after the fact, but before it even starts, I want to make sure that I have something in case that does happen. The only headaches I get are sinuses. Um, so I want to be prepared for that. Um, 
and I have watched a lot of videos on here. There's some videos on here of people getting them at home. And there's one young guy that I found that great, gave me a lot of great information on saying how much you need to be hydrated before and showing how much water and juice and watermelons and anything he can find he starts drinking the day before in the middle of the night and that morning and the more uh, fluids you can get in you the better you'll be so yeah I've done some research on that and uh, as I was talking in my last video about juicing uh, when I get this new um, a neutral bullet that I want to uh, I can do my carrot juice I can do cucumber I can do all that stuff and I can drink as many as I can plus with water and anything else and I will get a lot of nutrition along with the fluids so uh, I'm not as nervous anymore I'm not as scared anymore of course, the first one that I have, Ray will be here with me too. Um, and uh, I've also talked to like Tremia, and uh, she has told me to make sure that they do not turn it up fast. Turning it up fast does make you sicker. Uh, and some people, some nurses will just to try to get it done and over with. You know those won't stay with me my insurance is paying them and there are a lot of different home health cares around here and if I don't have a caring nurse that cares about me and how I'm going to feel when it's over with I will get another one um, I have that choice I have that right and I will get another one they're not going to turn it up fast on me and I have to deal with the consequences so, yeah, I'm pretty strong like that. We all have to be. When you're sick, you have to be your own advocate. And you have to have great caregivers that uh, are willing to speak up for you. Um, so, we're just keeping on praying about it, that everything's going to go good. Winter time's coming. You know, I've got all these great people on here that have been in the hospital with pneumonia and with everything else and if I can prevent it now then I am just going to help my health I, it's just another step it's not a chemo drug it's not a drug at all it's just blood plasma with the antibodies that I don't have and so that is my second video there's been quite a few I've been wanting to make but uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.